So everybody want to die, let's just come. We're going to lay hands on you to die tonight. I had a few phone calls today from preachers. Thank you, Quibus, for saying things that nobody else is prepared to say. But I didn't just say it bluntly or arrogantly. It's 25 years of meditation. Before I said, now is the time to boldly declare. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in Him. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. Rejoice. Rejoice over what, Kubus? That I shall live and not die. Did Jesus come to heal you? Did Jesus come to bless you? Did Jesus come to to prosper you? Or did Jesus come that you might have life and have it more abundantly? For the thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So the church get caught up with the byproducts like we said last night. We want the healing. We want the deliverance. We want the prosperity. We want the peace. We want the joy. We want the happiness. Why don't go for the full package? Life! Not existence. Life. Not making a living. Life. When last did you go to a church they say, right, uh, you know, of course, it's better to die than to live. You know, when we step over this Jordan, you know, all the glory that's waiting on the other side. So everybody want to die? Let's just come. We're going to lay hands on you to die tonight. <laughs> Outside, all the undertakers are waiting in queues. So, we're, so we come to people and say, in the name of the Lord Jesus, die, 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 die. Death, death, in Jesus' name, abundant death, abundant death, Jesus. Have you ever seen such an invitation? So why do we talk such stupid stuff? Why do we live like we live to die? I'm living to die. No, I'm dying to live. Paul says, I die daily. Why for? So that the life of Christ might be made manifest in me. Many people talked about this in the past, but it didn't break through. But now after last Sunday, hearing that the heavens are open, we don't have to get it open. Now God says, now touch on the stuff that people couldn't see because the heavens were brass above them. Now that you know that the heavens are open, why don't you now touch on the stuff that is of vital importance for my church?